Exponential functions, question number three for your test. An exponential function is defined as f of x equals to a times b to the power of x. Why do we have restrictions on this function? Write domain and range for f of x. Now that's a very interesting question. Now think about it and then answer the question. Let me sketch uh, approximately a function which is an exponential function. Normally what you see is that the exponential function where b is greater than 1 will be kind of like this. Now the question is why do we have restrictions on this function? As you can see there are no restrictions on the domain of the function, right? So the domain could be any number. x belongs to all real numbers. Do you see that? So what is the domain? Domain is x belongs to real numbers and there is no restriction on x, the domain. That means this value. But we do have some restrictions on f of x equals to a times b to the power of x. And those restrictions are basically on, on what? On the base b itself. Base b is restricted for us. So what are the restrictions on base b? So base is restricted since if you take b as equal to 0, then what do you get? If you take b as equals to 1, then what do you get? If you take b as equals to minus 1, then what will you get? Rather, if b is negative, if b is less than 0, then what will you get? These are the things which will lead to restrictions. Correct? Now, exponential functions are functions which are increasing all the way. Correct? If I put b equals to 0, then what do I get? For b equals to 0, anything to the power of 0 will be 0. 0 times anything will be 0. So, I get a line along the x-axis, which is not an exponential function. So, this is not exponential. It is of course a function, right? It represents x-axis, but it is not exponential. If I write b equals to 1, then what do I get? For b equals to 1, if I am doing a times b to the power of x and b is 1, then I get a line here. And this line will be equal to y equals to a. It's kind of interesting, I have not drawn the line at 1. a could be any number, right? So this line will be y equals to a. Remember that. So b equals to 1 will give us f of x equals to a, right? That is also not an exponential function. It is not increasing at all. It's a constant. How about when b is negative? When b is negative, then what happens? Let us take a value, for example, b as minus 2, for example. Let's say b equals to minus 2. Then if we have an even power, we get positive number. If we get odd power, we get negative number. With the result, we'll be like switching, right? Like we're going up and down. Do you see? Like this. So the function will not be continuous. It will be kind of a discontinuous function and we really don't know how to sketch it, right? Because it switches. And that's why we don't have a continuous function. So that is not permitted. So therefore, because of this, we have restrictions on B. So the restriction is that B should be always non-negative right so b is b belongs to real numbers of course and b is greater than 0 but b is not equal to 1 so these are all the restrictions which we have and these restrictions are actually on on the base of the function that is very important to understand okay so we have answered the first question now let's move on to the second part which is domain and range as you can see from here depending on the value of a. So we are assuming that a is positive. Right? Let's assume 
that A is greater than 0. We are assuming that A is positive. In that case, the range is Y belongs to real numbers, so that Y is greater than 0, right? So that is when A is positive. But if A is negative, then it is less than 0, right? However, the domain is always all real numbers. So that is the domain and the range really depends on A. So when A is positive, it is this. And when A is negative, then the range is Y belongs to real number, where Y is less than 0. It's kind of important to specify what value of A is, right? And in this expression, we cannot have A equal to 0. So that should be a restriction on A, that A is not equal to 0. If A is 0, there is no more an exponential function, right? So important thing is when we write exponential function, then the function has to grow or decay at an exponential rate. Right? So that is the basic definition. And it has to be a continuous exponential function. So that gives us all the restrictions on the function. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you. Let me shift the paper a bit so that you can clearly see what we wrote about the range. So range is when a is greater than 0, y belongs to real number, and y is greater than 0. But if a is less than 0, then y belongs to real numbers, and y is less than 0. It's kind of very important to specify that the range is dependent on A, right? I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.